G'day, I'm Ash, welcome yourselves back to War Thunder. I know I've taken a bit of an absence on the platform recently. I've been taking that well-earned break. This is a, well, footage from last week. This is the very first match in the LVT. I didn't play with audio this round, so I didn't really experience the LVT until later, but I've had several matches in this machine where, well, this thing is just utterly insane. People are starting to counter it now. It's taken them a few days, but initially the first wave of these things would utterly dominate teams i do have a few other recordings i might use as background footage uh i've got a 21 kill game and whatever but this is my very first match in it I'm, i kind of just wanted to sit down and have a bit of a chat because obviously it's been a little while i uh I'm not feeling too good uh, and i'm glad i've taken the break because in hindsight, as much as I enjoy playing War Thunder, the sales are fantastic, there's good things on the horizon. The new update isn't too uh, game-breaking. It is in some circumstances, there are a few bugs, but nothing really major. There was no pre-order premiums, there wasn't anything really uh, bad to say about the patch. The Battle Pass is okay, it's not exactly the greatest thing on Earth, but then again, it services a good portion of the community, and... This being one of the Battle Pass vehicles, it is certainly something to be, uh, I, I guess, <laughs> collected, I suppose. That PT-76 with the modern 57mm gun, that is going to be an absolute monster. But it'll has. You know, I have to admit, uh, if it wasn't for a community like you guys, I wouldn't be alive. I actually, uh, I'm, I'm grateful for the position that I'm in. Not only for the fact that I've grown as a person and as a character, but as... You know, time has moved on. I see myself in a different position. I was chatting to some other content creators and they were encouraging me to step out of what I would think of the negativity pool or whatever it was, but I needed to be more confident within myself and I'm working on the things, you know. Got a lot of psychologists, a lot of other bullshit to deal with. Um, but it isn't all War Thunder, it's all firefighting, it's PTSD, it's, it's you know... <laughs> There's a bunch of things. It's family related. And the pandemic really accelerated things and kind of put a hold to everything. You know, I used to do Crash with Ash episodes. I rarely do them anymore. Um, I'll do the occasional once in a month, maybe update occasionally. But, you know, I don't really get to talk to a lot of people in my role as a creator. I find that most of the time... I'm sitting around. Most of the people that I would be playing with, you know, they've got lives, they've got uh, school, work, TAFE, university, um, and, you know, a as you grow with a game, like, I've been with this game for, for eight years, almost nine, be nine in February next year, which means that I have been through the War Thunders community for that long that I may as well be considered a bit of a boomer at this rate. I mean, I sound like one. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a bit weird, don't you think? But then again, it comes with the positives of knowing that where the game's direction has gone, and having been through most of the community's inherent dramas and community issues means that you've been on that and, and talked about some of those things and been present for some of the major issues that the game has faced in years past. And since upgrading to the 5950X, my 3070, and a bunch of other cool components that cost me the Earth, I have yet to really uh, utilize my old computer. I've been thinking about doing streaming more. The issue with streaming, though, is I feel like I'm not exactly the right personality type for streaming. I, again, as another content creator said, I just don't exert confidence. So, you know, I've seen it all, and my main objective at current is really to unlock and, well, potentially get all of the aircraft possible in War Thunder. That is my main objective. I want to be be that guy that has all of them can i use everything not really that well but more importantly it, it's it's just a little side goal of mine since i became a creator uh <laughs> i don't know but hey this update is really cool i think it's it's an okay patch it's not like any of the other previous ones we don't have broken mechanics i mean the game is still the same right from, from from having looked at previous patches and looking at what the game looks like now comparatively to what it did last year in October, it's a significant improvement. They've got the X-Fixed series. There is nothing really to complain about, actually. Sure, you can complain about grind or maps not being big enough or the Battle Pass vehicles not being good enough. 
But those are all hindsight, really, when it comes to, I guess, the wider scope of how the game is playing out. The community is bigger than ever uh, before. I, I remember it being a very niche game. We're like, what? What is War Thunder? It's a fairly mainstream title these days, in its ninth year. Not many gamers get to nine years of age without the issues that they have, particularly being a free-to-play game. I think that's really fantastic. So congratulations to Garjan Entertainment for providing us this game, which we consistently whinge and cry about for the, the past nine years, because it's still going, and the community is growing uh, larger and larger as, as time goes on. The only real disappointment I have with this current update is the way they've introduced the Italian... Sorry, not the Italian, goodness me. The Israeli tech tree in the way that it is, well, two premium vehicles. I get that that's what they have done for previous introductions of nations. They have done the two vehicle rollout, then they wait a series of months before more content can be relatively available. But in saying that, you know, an Israeli tech tree? Really? Not a Yugoslavian? Not a Romanian? Not a, not a Greek or a Nordic nation? What about more vehicles for Finland? Or a Commonwealth tech tree that was made up of Canadian, Australian, South African, and New Zealand, and, and stuff like that, and India and Pakistan? I understand why, though. Uh, I mean, the Israeli tech tree also gives rise to uh, allowing Egyptian vehicles and... Uh, Palestinian vehicles and such like that. So, a Middle East tech tree, so be it under one flag? Not exactly the greatest idea, but hey, talk about geopolitics, right? At least with a country like, for example, Turkey or even Yugoslavia, there's plenty of vehicles on their own and unique vehicles on their own that, that might be nice additions towards the game. The whole issue is, well, what is copy-paste and what isn't now is really apparent because Israel is going to have modifications of the A4, they're going to have modifications of Mosquitoes and Spitfires and Spanish 109s, and the tech tree isn't really going to be a full tech tree. Although their ground branch might actually be interesting with some of the weird and wacky uh, modifications they made to vehicles. It's a matter of making them different enough that they don't feel the same as other vehicles or other nations' equipment, so to speak. But other than that, the patch has been quite a right. Again, I haven't played it in a week, so I don't know if there's new issues that have arisen. I did try to stream the Twitch drops briefly, but I just got so fed up with, with playing War Thunder that I just, I just gave up. You know, it's been the first break, real break that I've had since about 2018, I think. The Italian tech tree came out, the M36 uh, it was probably the worst vehicle that I'd ever played at that particular time. It wasn't a very good vehicle. Now it's fantastic, but back then it was just so bad. As a result, I uninstalled the game for three weeks, but I came back and I really haven't had a decent break to myself. I've had a couple of weeks here and there, but this, not touching the game at all, aside from logging in for the sales, uh, really sort of makes me appreciate the fact that this game has held me together, even if it, for good or bad, for the last eight and a bit years. That's crazy. So, what have you guys bought during the sale? Have you bought any vehicles? Or are you holding off? How are you playing other games? And what do you think of this patch? These are all questions I have for you. But I'd like to offer sincere gratitude to the community uh, for the last few years. You guys have kept me pretty damn sane. And I, I really do appreciate the fact that you guys have had a major impact on my adult life, but also keeping me from doing things that I regret. So, to those who have join the discord to those of you who supported me on patreon and etc etc you guys mean the world to me and for all the comments i read every single one i might not respond to every single one but by george if i don't you know read every single comment it's a bit of a guilty pleasure of mine um you know <laughs> it is what it is but i'd really love to get back into flying in the real world i miss flying a lot i stopped flying about late 2019 due to a health crisis uh which i've talked about here on the channel before uh, it was a cancer scare, particularly in the brain. Um, my, my brain's producing excess mucus fl fluids and still is. Uh, so I have to, I'm going to have to get that drained later this year, uh, which is the deadline for that. But anyway, um, you know, I, I didn't pass my class one medical for flying aircraft. Now you can get your class two done for your private pilot license. It isn't necessary. You get your class one but I need to work on health. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on for at least the next few months. 
and there are some exciting things I can't tell you about that I wish I could tell you about because I'd love to tell you right here right now but it's involving uh, employment opportunities abroad and obviously uh, some other interesting aspects but yeah the lvt with the bofors probably the most insane vehicle of this patch uh, <laughs> that was the first game i've ever played in the machine it doesn't bother me i i enjoy playing it on and off but i think for me what i need to do is i need to find the passion again uh war thunder is an incredibly fascinating game to study from an aspect and i don't think i really will be playing it past the 10 year anniversary of my playtime I can't imagine anyone else would. Ten years, you've got all the aircraft, you've got all the things. What's next? Uh, the, the game forces you to really grind and progress to the next level, doesn't it? So yeah, there you go. There's a nine-kill game in the LVT. What do you think of this patch? And did you buy any vehicles on the sales? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, you've been updated. Hope you enjoyed this little chatting video. My name is Ash. Catch you in the next